Now we're going to work on math, grade 4, module 3, lesson 6. Multi-digit multiplication and division, topic B, multiplication by 10, 100, and 1,000. Problem 1. Use the place value chart to multiply a two-digit multiple of 10 by a two-digit multiple of 10. So essentially we're going to be multiplying 20 times 30, but we're going to be expressing 20 times 30 in different ways. The first way is I'm going to look at the number 30. I can make 30 by saying 3 times 10. So let's think about this one. 10 times 20 times 3. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to represent this 20 using disks. That's 110, so that's 10. That's 2 tens, so that's 20. Now, this little group of 2 tens, which is the same as 20, I'm going to multiply by 10. So I'm going to multiply these 2 tens by 10, and I'm going to get 2 hundreds. So I've just done this part, 10 times 20. Now I have to do it times 3. So this is where I'm at. I have one copy, so I need to multiply that by 3. That means it's going to go one copy, two copies, three copies. So our answer to 10 times 20 times 3 is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 hundreds. So 600. Now let's represent 20 times 30 in a different way. This time we're going to do the same thing we just did, but we're going to look at the number 20 instead. I can make 20 by saying 2 times 10. So I have a 10 and I have a 2. So 10 times 30 times 2 is going to be equal to 20 times 30. So this time I'm going to represent this number, 30. I'm going to represent that one with a disk. So that would be 10, 20, 30, or 3 tens. So this is my group of 3 tens. And since it's a group, I'm going to go ahead and group it together. That circle a little bigger, that oval a little bigger. Okay, so now I have this group, and this group is a group of 3 tens. I'm going to multiply these 3 tens by 10. When I do, the 3 tens are going to shift into the hundreds place because that's what happens when we multiply a number by 10. So I have completed this portion, the first portion of our problem, 10 times 30. Now I just need to do it times 2. So here I have one copy. Now I have two copies. So that means times two. I have two copies now. So the answer to 20 times 30 and the answer to 10 times 30 times two is one, two, three, four, five, six, hundred. And that's the same answer we had before. Let's look at it yet another way. This time, I'm going to break apart this 20 into 2 times 10, but we're going to do the 2 first instead of the 10. But we're still going to represent this 30 with 3 10s. 1, 2, 3. So I have three tens that I need to multiply by two. So two times three tens 
what I'll do is I'll create a little group of three tens here and I need to multiply it by two so it, may, it means I'm going to end up with two copies instead of just one copy. So now I have six tens. What I will do is I will multiply this by 10. I'll multiply these six tens by 10. And what I'll get is two copies in the hundreds place. Like so. So my answer to 20 times 30 this time, or my answer to 2 times 30 times 10 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 hundreds. And we still have one more way to try it out. This time, I'm going to break apart that 30 again into 3 times 10, but we're going to do the 3 first. So just like the last time, I have two tens. Last time I had three tens, so now we're going to have two tens. And I'm representing the 20. And I'm going to make a group of that. But I'm going to multiply this by three. Three times 20. I have one copy, two copies, three copies. Now I need to multiply these three copies by 10. I've done this part of the problem. Now I have to multiply this part by 10. So when I multiply this by 10, I get that. I get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 hundreds or 600. So 20 times 30 or 3 times 20 times 10 is 600. And it didn't matter whether I did it this way, this way, or this way, this way, or this way, because they all ended up equaling 600. Problem two. Create an area model to represent a two-digit multiple of 10 by a two-digit multiple of 10. We're going to use an area model to help us solve 40 times 20. So I'm going to pull out my area model, and, and an area model is a rectangle, but we're going to use the sides of the rectangle to help us figure out the area. Now you remember when we did area, we said that length times width equals area. So we're going to use that premise, this area model, and that premise to help us figure out 40 times 20. Now, 40 times 20 is one way we can read this, but we can also read it in unit form. And unit form is going to help us today. So let's think about what unit form would be. 40 is 4 tens, and 20 is 2 tens. So unit form is going to be 4 tens times 2 tens. So we'll use 4 tens times 2 tens to help us with this area model. On this side, I'm going to have my 4 tens. So this side will be like this. I'm going to have 4 tens here, which is, and I'm going to show each 10. 10, 10, 10, and 10. And then I'm going to have two tens up here at the top, and that's going to be where I put my two tens. This rectangle, however, needs to be separated into each one of the tens. So you see, when I put this here, it's showing that this side is 10 and this side is 10, that the length of this side is two tens. Here's one of the tens, and here's the other ten. And then the width of this side is four tens. That's one of the tens, two, three, and four. 
Now, you remember when we learned about area, we talked about rows and how many items were in each row. Well, they're saying this square has 10 rows in it. And I'm going to give you an example of one of the rows. This is one of the rows of 10. Now there's 10 in that row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is one row of 10. But this square has 10 rows of 10 in it. So I'm going to have to put in some more rows. Now this square has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 rows with 10 in each row. So the area of this square is 10 times 10, which we know is 100. So the area of this square is 10 times 10. And this one, 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 and this one. 4 tens times 2 tens would be 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 8 hundreds. So 4 tens times 2 tens is equal to 8 hundreds. That'll do it for lesson 6. Multiply two-digit multiples of 10 by two-digit multiples of 10 with the area model. If you want additional resources on this, you can go to lpssonline.com. Hover over Parent Command Center, scroll down to Math Resources, click there. When you get to this page, choose the grade level you want. In this case, we're working with fourth grade. You'll get this page. Right now, we're doing Module 3, Topic B, so you click on that and you will get this newsletter that can help you with your work.